What should we say about Hogwarts Legacy? Let's start with the bad. That final boss fight with its targeting was really bad. And granted, I did bump it up to hard difficulty because I was just Rick rolling through everything. And like suddenly, the targeting just didn't seem to want to work very well anymore. It just targeted everything but what I wanted to target. And it was very indiscriminate. Where it was pretty spot on beforehand. So I don't know if that was a bug by intention. It just felt too intentional to not be a bug. Or, to, or not, you know, it's not, I don't think it's a bug. It was just too intentional. It was just adding faux difficulty. The last boss fight was just, in my opinion, not very good. It was just, great. it was the same as all the other boss fights. It just was this giant dragon, but it wouldn't target what you needed to target. So it made it just more frustrating and infuriating than, than something, you know, kind of fun. So I didn't really enjoy that part. What I would say with the, I didn't find, I didn't come across any, very many bugs, you know, the visual bugs, stuff like that. Nothing game breaking or any weird, you know, individuals dancing in place, that kind of thing. Graphics are great. All right. Every now and then there was some pop in, but nothing I would say that was, you know, warranted any demerits or anything like that. Story wise, it was pretty, you know, pretty pretty standard fare for this type where you end up becoming a jack of all trades I do wish there was more of a morality between it since they kind of they really hinted at it but then they didn't do it right so you know I mean I guess it goes right into the gameplay so gameplay wise it just you know the, the flying controls were terrible absolutely terrible why use its two stick design it makes absolute zero sense. I mean, it just guarantees you really just don't ever want to use it. Thank goodness it didn't have Quidditch, because I, I wouldn't have done it. Full stop. I only completed the flying missions just because I dropped it to e to story mode, and after I failed it a couple of times, it asked if I wanted to bypass it. It was like, hell yes. So, uh, going back to story, like I said, it, you know, you're using this unforgivable curses. There's no, there's no ramifications for it, and there's no, and, and you get no, you know, like you make some choices, you're really crappy to people, or you steal something. There's no, no consequences. You can just do whatever you want. You know, when you're, I don't know if there's any kind of build variety for this. It's just kind of odd. They kept talking about builds when I read about it online. I mean, builds came from the talent tree. Of what you get for your perks when you level on up. And I really didn't see that. I mean, I didn't see any value in in the um in the sneaky peats, right? So I didn't I only put one into that and I really wish I hadn't, but I did. So So yeah, I mean for me I'd say this is a this is a solid four. No, I don't I mean you know, they went for the for the platinum. They want you to play it three more times to get to the map room, which is another six hours of the opening. But the only way I would do that probably is on story to bypass it just to get the trophies. That's just, I mean, that just it doesn't it it, it, it it's it, it's disrespectful of my time, right? Allow me to go do missions for the houses or have house missions. We didn't have that. You know, when you're when you're they had a lot they had a lot of time sinks in this. Like if you wanted to brew any potions, you had to. Why why do I need to wait? F you know, 15, 30 seconds for that. The plants I get it, but for the for the for the potions, I should have been instantaneous. I had all the crap there. Why do I gotta wait? The breeding, I get it, it's annoying, but you know, rather than four biomes, they should have been interconnected biomes. So you can just run through. Don't limit me to the number of critters in each area. Areas were too big to have so few critters. So it just... It, it was just, you know... It was a little strange. Now the, the wand combat was fun, except for the switching... Switching back and forth. I wish, I would, I wish that was tied to the weapon wheel. And the digital pad was tied to the potions. Right? I don't think you really needed all those potions. Or have potion combos, that kind of thing. Brew potion, you know. That can, so, 
yeah, I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't really like that part. I didn't enjoy it. It just felt like I was wasting my time because it, there were so many things that had time cooldowns, which they needed for balance. But I'm locked into an animation, and your opponents are not. They can just start. They can just blast away at nauseam while you're you're locked in your slow ass attack. And I get you're a student, but still, you're ripping face of the whole game. And suddenly, it's like I can't. You know, you can't do shit. Come on. It's 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 just it's just silly. It's silly. It's just silly. So, but you know, I mean. I don't regret buying it for for th for the thirty dollars that I got it for. It's definitely got my money's worth out of it because, like, you know, fifty some odd hours. So I can't really complain about that. So, I... So let's just let these play out, and um, and then I guess now it's just time for cleanup. I'm not going to record that. That's just silly. We'll go through and get all the like, rest of the collectibles and stuff like that to get the just enough to get the trophies. Don't need to get everything. Just whatever it is you need to get the trophies. So you know, like the Merlin's tables and and all that. You know. Oh, yeah, by the way, why 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 make me not a why not a how come you don't allow me to carry more stuff. I was constantly going back and forth. Who cares? Put put the put the stuff I, I'm I'm wearing at the very top and then just have everything else. You're you're a magician. You you have a room of requirement and you know like the, the potions should oh when you pick up potions should all go back there and not limit me to twenty five. Or, or yeah, no give me twenty five, limit me to like fifteen. And send everything else back to the room of requirement. I just go back there and ref, and re, you know have, have my chest. Where I fill stuff up. Whatever. It's it's craziness. It's just just part of the phone limiter. But anyways, let's let these play out. If you can get it, you should play this game. 